Greetings little viewer, The Good Tonight here, back from a bit of a hiatus, and today we're doing a special review on the Grey Ghost Gear SMC back panel. See it chilling back there. On my back. It's a, uh, yeah, back panel. Got the tag right there. Gotcha! Grey Ghost Gear. So Grey Ghost Gear's been around for a bit. I really only ever looked at their bandoliers and stuff before, haven't used a whole lot of their stuff, but um, back panels. Back panels, there are tons of back panels. Most people end up buying the uh, Cry Precision ones. Either the uh, breaching ones or more of the uh, turtle back sort of design, but a uh, bunch of different designs for back panels and uh, quite a few to cover. Got the option to play with a few, but we're going to be reviewing this one. Particularly, this one's made by Gross Gay. Ah! Words! Grey Ghost Gear, and we got mounted on a uh, Cry AV yesterday. And AVS will be doing a review on later. So, back panels. Lots of them. You go on, uh, go on the old Facebook, and there's lots of people up in the forums that are like, hey guys. I went and I bought this cool Cry Precision back panel or whatever company's back panel, and I was just thinking I wanted to ask you guys. Maybe I'm just being dumb here, but I got to, I, when we were doing training, I was like, oh, I need to get my flashbangs, but I can't reach them because it's on my back. And everyone looked at me like I was a big dumb dumb because I took my plate carrier off to pull out my flashbangs. And uh, yeah, so the thing with back panels that apparent uh, some people don't seem to understand is this is a team orientated sort of ordeal. Your teammate behind you can get access to your flashbangs and any crazy breaching charge or whatever you happen to have on hand, but it's not for you personally to just reach back there and get a hold of. If you really, really, really wanted to, you could rig up some 550 cord around whatever flashbang you got in there, leave the tops open, and route that cord into a little loop up around the front, where all you have to do is give that a little tug, it pops out to the side, and you can grab it from there if you really want to go down that route. But as far as this back panel goes, we're going to be taking a look at that. So let's go ahead and we're going to pop this um, light carrier off real quick. A wee bit of work. All right. I'm going to set that down there. You chill out over there. You do that. What is that thing? All right. I got this kind of set up. It's a big ghetto, but uh, so is almost everything I do. So back panel. You see it chilling here. Is that good? Oh, my editor wasn't so busy. All right, so back panel. Till in here, what we got is got um, three pouches here. And these pouches are a lot larger than the uh, pouches I've seen with the other, um, with like the Ferro Concepts and stuff that people just fit uh, flashbangs in. These ones, if you really, really, really wanted to, could fit up to about uh, two M4 mags each, which is pretty insane because that is a lot of extra weight. You would never want to put two M4, M, ah, two M4 mags, 556 five, mags in here. But if you really wanted to, you could. I would probably stick to a flashbang or a sound suppression device you have. These generally stand up like so. But um, just for aesthetic purposes, I like that one tucked in there. You can put a tag over there. Actually, I got a tag over here. So for demonstration purposes, with all this extra elastic here, you can just put one of these tags. Like so. So these will actually come out. There's... um. A loop here of webbing that holds everything together and you can pull out the uh, velcro from the inside here pull that out leave them open top you can leave them normal top you can tuck them in like I like to do really whatever you want three of those um, off on this side you got your fun little breaching charge claymore pouch pops open in the um, open top style whereas the uh, I know the ferro one opens from the front and this is more of a uh, this design I've seen used with uh, cry precision Really liking these open ones that kind of pop open and fold down and stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, these got, um, these are little tags on there for you. But yeah, Velcro. Velcro likes to make noise, so maybe have things ready in advance. Prefer probably want to just take one of these and fold that in like so. So your initial go-to flashbang can be removed silently. But yeah, a, bit of, a few options there. Quite a few things you can do. Now there is a uh, Velcro here. This is a, is a 500 Condora, it's a lot lighter than um, the stuff you'll see in the 1000 Condora setup, but pretty neat nonetheless. Now at the bottom, you do have the Velcro, so you can do the um, same thing I know the Cry Precision ones do. So you can pop that open, and you can either... Come on. Alright, it's not the easiest. I'll, I'll admit that one. But I can either... Come on, use... Uh, Velcro's on the inside too. But uh, you can either have that fold down and give you a bit of extra room if you're carrying like bolt cutters or if you have like a uh, hooligan tool or whatever you can just uh, 
have that pop straight open. Oh my, it's a bit of a nightmare to work with. So you know, probably have that set in a minute. So you have it pop straight open so you can have your tool coming from the top all the way down. We pop open this part here. I need these magazines. Pop open this part up here. There's a lot, whole lot of Velcro to help hold that closed. That is a, there's way too much Velcro. I would have probably gone with just like half as much as they got in there, but you know, you also got a little tab if you want to mount like a small hydration bladder or something in there. But yeah, there's the uh, part Velcroed in place. That is just a wicked ton of Velcro on there. So as far as the sides, as I said, it's on a Cry AVS. The zippers are compatible with Cry products. Something uh, significant to keep in mind because this kind of requires zippers to really function as intended. So we pop that open. You can see uh, on the side here, it's just got uh, three tabs. I don't have it like wed through the center or anything, but those tabs just kind of go through. Was it the second and the uh, fourth lines of webbing? And then the zipper just locks that into place. And the whole back side, there's like nothing special to it. That just helps hold it up at the top, keep it at the bottom in place. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty simplistic design. Works well with cry packs and everything. And uh, yeah, you can carry some extra stuff for your team. And when you don't need it, when you go, hey, I don't need this pack on here anymore, you just pop those two zippers, pull that down, pull that down. Pull that one down and pull that one down. And theoretically you would just lift up, but uh, it's not going to be that easy. These little tabs do get stuck on the webbing. As you can see, it takes up two down there. Two, uh, two columns and two columns up here as well. And yeah, so that's how the whole back of that looks. So these alone, they'll hold, but you're not going to get that uh, side really secured unless you're using the zipper panels. And as I mentioned earlier, there's the uh, bottom part pops right out. Oh, there's some extra over there. Oh yeah, I see. So then you pop this free, like so. There's the uh, Velcro on the inside that holds that all together. And uh, yeah, there's a little tag up there. Yeah, inside a little pouch and stuff. So you can either secure that or leave it open so the tool can hang through. And that just re-secures down there and it gives you just a little bit of a, a groove for holding uh, any sort of like a bolt cutters or something together there. So great little multi-use device there. The two tabs up here so you can make as much noise as humanly possible popping that uh, Velcro open. So that's all I got for you guys. So if you're looking for a really cool back panel, I do like that these uh, pouches up here, they got a bit of elastic to help hold them closed, but they are a lot larger than uh, some of the competitors I've seen. And it's a very simple design. It doesn't have a whole lot of hangover. Just a little bit goes past the plate bag. But that's all I got for you guys. Um, cheers, stay and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone. If I can stop the video. I haven't done this in over a month.